Hello guys, this is a shift register which shifts the true value over one spot every time you press a button. You press a button and it shifts over the lit up redstone wiring in between as you can see and then it goes back under and restarts again. What is this useful for, you might ask? Well, I'm going to use this for a, a programmable ticker with delay line memory, which I hope I can get to work. Um, so this would be then the um, implemented in the writing portion where I will use this to write one letter after another onto a delay line memory. And then I could send that through a series of repeaters like this. And with many rows of this, you can actually read. And yeah, you get the idea. It's a ticker. Um, each one of these gates is a feed, it's a um, shift register. It has one input, one output, and a clock input, which I will toggle with the button over here. Um, and it shifts the true value on the output on another one. I read about this on Wikipedia, this may, might give you a better idea about what it is. Um, I'm quoting now, reading. In digital surface, circuits, a shift register is a cascade of flip-flops sharing the same clock, which has an output of any one but the last flip-flop connected to the data input of the next one in the chain, resulting in a circuit that shifts by one position in the one by dimensional bit area stored in it. Shifting this one data present at its input and shifting out the last bit in the area when enabled to do so by a transition of, clock, of the clock input. More generally, a shift register may be a multi-dimensional such that the data is data in, input, and stage outputs themselves are bit arrays. This is implemented simply by running several shift registers of the same bit length in parallel. Um, there is a link if you want to read more in the description about that. Um, yeah. I don't really understand it, I only kind of understand it. But what it does, it, it is a series of l lattice gates. This is the clock input, and it simultaneously turns on both these torches. However, if this is true, like just a sec. If this, yeah, let's go on this one. If this input here is on, this torch will not turn on, and this toggles the state of this RS nor latch. If this is off, however, um, the delay here causes this one to stay. Uh, on a bit longer than the top route on the RS nor latch, and hence the state is different, which results in a different output. That happens on every one, and this results in the mechanism where um, the true value, or any set of values, actually gets shifted over this way. And then I've created a tunnel to the start again, so it all loops back. Yeah, so that's my idea. I hope this will work. Um, yeah.